Hello, and thanks for using TickBoom. A student has sent through this screenshot which contains two questions, uh, part D and part E here, but uh, because these questions aren't particularly linked, it's not that one follows on from the other, I'll tackle them in separate videos. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on question D, which says to factorize x to the four plus x squared minus six over these set notations here. So we've got z, which covers the integers, q, which covers rational numbers, r, which covers real numbers, and c, which covers complex numbers. So, um, in, in thinking about how to factorize x to the four plus x squared minus six, and again, we're doing this over the uh, integers, over the rationals, over the reals, and over the complex set. I think step one is to um, let u, some, some variable u equal x squared, because that means we're gonna be able to substitute in u and end up with a quadratic. So we'll get u squared plus u minus six is representing the same thing. And that's going to equal zero when u is equal to negative one plus or minus root one squared minus four times one times negative six on two times one. So that's just using the um, classic quadratic formula. So if we simplify this, we'll get negative one plus or minus root one squared is one minus, minus 24, so plus 24. So we'll get 25 on two. Uh, square root of 25 is simply 5, so minus 1 plus 5 is 4 on 2 is 2, and minus 1 minus 5 is minus 6 on 2 is negative 3. So now if we put our x squared back in, what we can say is that x to the 4 plus x squared minus 6 is equal to x squared minus 2, x squared plus 3. And if you wanted to check, you could expand this out and see that you get back to where you started. And this, I think, is a factorization over the integer set, because we can see these are both integers. But I also think it uh, covers the rational set. And the reason I say that is because uh, as we go further and continue to factorize, we're not going to get any specific numbers that are rational and not integers we're only going to get some irrational numbers and some complex numbers. So it may be that I'm missing something in this question, but I think this first factorization covers both the integers and the rational set. Um, a rational number is any number that you can write as p on q, where p and q are integers. And that actually does cover integers like negative two and three, because you can just write them as say negative two on one and three on one. So you still satisfy this definition. Um, but there aren't any, any other numbers that are say fractions, uh, rational fractions, so not integers, um, but still rational. So again, I may have missed something. If, if you're watching this and you can see that I'm missing some critical point, please feel free to comment in, in, um, in the YouTube comment section and, and let me know. Otherwise, this is kind of how, how I see it, how I'm thinking about this question. Now, if we wanna move on to um, other factorizations, if we think about x squared minus two, that will be zero when x squared is equal to two. So x will be plus or minus root two. So we can write this part as x minus root two, x plus root two, and then leave this part unchanged. And from there, I think we're covering the real set, which covers uh, rational and irrational numbers. Root two is irrational. So um, I think that covers our, our real set. And then if we wanna expand um, this x squared plus three further, you get x squared plus three is equal to zero when x squared is equal to negative three. So x will be plus or minus root negative three and that's how we get into our complex space. So you'll get x minus root two, x plus root two, 
x minus root 3i, x plus root 3i. And again, if you were to um, expand all of this, you should still get back to you the original expression. So I think that covers our complex. And again, all of these numbers can be thought of as technically complex numbers, but the root, the plus and minus root two just simply have a zero in front of the i. That's kind of how you can think about it. So this covers the complex set. This covers the real set. And I think this first um, factorization covers both the integer and the rational set. So I think that's it for this question. Again, if, if I've missed anything, if, if, if this isn't what I've meant to do here, please let me know. Um, but otherwise, I hope you've kind of followed along with the basic technique, the substitution that we need to do. So yeah, hopefully you, you have found that helpful and uh, tick boom.